in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to make this DIY paper mache hamster hideout or playground. So the things you will need are one cup of baking flour, three cups of water, one fourth of a teaspoon of salt. You also are going to need newspapers as well as some blank white printing paper. You also will need some cardboard boxes in different sizes as well as maybe some toilet paper tubes. If you are making this for Syrians, I wouldn't recommend using toilet paper tubes just because most don't fit through them and I wouldn't want them to get stuck. So the first thing you are going to want to do is plan out how you want your playground slash hideout to look like. Be creative with this. You can make it however you want. When I was building this, I cut out the bottom box so that it would have bedding be able to come through and it wouldn't just be a cardboard bottom, it would be bedding bottom. Um, as well as I used small pieces of tape to hold things together. This will eventually get covered with the newspaper. took newspaper and crunched that up just to fill up any empty spaces. Once you're done, you can get started with making your paste. You're going to want to start by boiling two cups of water. While that's boiling, you can start making the mix. So you can take your one cup of water and then your one cup of flour as well as your one fourth teaspoon of salt and mix that all together. Once the two cups of boiling water have boiled, you can add that into the mix and mix that together. And then you're gonna take that entire mix and you're gonna put that onto the stove to boil at a medium to high temperature. And you're gonna wanna stir for one to two minutes until this starts becoming thick. If you find that your mix has become a little too thick, you can add in a little bit of boiling water and that can help make it liquidy. Then while you're waiting for that to cool down, you can start ripping up some newspaper. And then once it's cooled down, you can start applying the newspaper to your creation. Now, I only do one layer of newspaper, but if you want it to be more sturdy, I definitely would do a couple more layers of the newspaper. You also are going to want to let it dry. It takes about one to two hours and it can go a little bit faster if you put it in front of a fan or heater. And once that first newspaper layer has dried, you can go on to your final layer, which is using the white paper. I also have some brown paper that I received in packages, which also works and gives it a cool different pattern. And then I just let that dry overnight in front of a heater. And voila, you have your own DIY playground for your hamster. So yeah guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. Bye.